Hi Scorpio, welcome to your December New Love Tarot reading. So Scorpio, we are looking at New Love. Now this could be somebody that you do know but never been romantically involved with. It could be a missed opportunity. It could be somebody new that you're dating, getting to know when it's very, very new. It could be a crush or it could be someone totally new coming into your life. So we're going to see what kind of new love situation is going on for you. It's not about exes or anything like that. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Scorpio, we have the Fairy Tarot here. I'm using it as an oracle for your opening messages and then we'll get into your reading. But welcome in, Scorpio. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, Scorpio, so let's see what's going on for you. December New Love Tarot reading. Let's see what we have. I'm going to lay these out and see what the messages are. Ten of Wands. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Okay. The Dreamer. So we do have the Fool here. Embrace your inner... Uh, I can speak. Brace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. So we got the fool. Two of swords. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. And six of cups. Children or childhood. The return of people or romances from your past. Remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred. It looks like, like making a decision about your past. So some of you may have made a decision about your past and putting something to an end and leaving some sort of a burden behind you. And I feel like this was a really good decision for you because we have the Fool here, which is a fresh clean slate, energetic reset, fresh new start, no baggage, a new beginning, and jumping all in. And it does have a zero on it, which gives me no time frame, which could be right now. So I think this decision you made to leap forward instead of backwards, because I think it's actually a really good thing for you, um, Scorpio. So it's kind of feeling like new love for me. So let's see where this is going. Let's see where this is going for Scorpio. So we have Aquarius with the Fool. Could be signs and charts or, you know, however that resonates. All right, Scorpio. So let's see. We have the Arcanum Tarot here. So do your reading with this deck. See what's going on. See what you need to know. So tell me about this energy for Scorpio. Tell me about this energy for Scorpio, please. December New Love Tarot reading. What do we need to know? Oh my goodness. Way too many. It's like 20 cards. All right. Tell me what we need to know. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Oh my god, first card out for both decks. That is crazy. Knight of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. World reversed. Oh my goodness. Five of Cups reversed. On the bottom. We have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like that's new energy. I do. So I feel like this definitely are oppressed... Um, Way down energy here with the Ten of Wands. Overwhelming energy. Knight of Swords reverse for me turns uh, in reverse. Upright is the fastest, in reverse is the slowest. So it kind of turns to the Knight of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like here, um, Scorpio, you definitely were dealing with someone overwhelming that was taking their time, dragging their feet. They may not have been very honest with you. The King of Swords reverse is not a great energy. Maybe you were stuck on this person with the world. Um, the world reverse can be a stuck energy. It also can be, I feel, the return of someone too. But I feel like, um, I don't feel like this is a return of somebody. I mean, it could be, but I don't feel that way. I feel like you deciding here to get out of sadness, loss, grief, and sorrow by moving on probably with the world. The world in reverse, though, for me, can be the return but if this person did return, you may have finally put an end to it. Because I do feel like that Page of Pentacles is someone new. And I don't feel any sadness, loss, or grief anymore revolving around this. I mean, they could have come back around and told you more lies. And you're realizing, yeah, 
I have to move away from this. It took me a long time, but I'm going to do it. Put an end to it. Ten of Wands. It looks like you got something new coming in with the Page of Pentacles. So we do have Capricorn, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius. So let's focus on this uh, Page of Pentacles, Scorpio, and see what's coming in with that. I feel like it's definitely new. Could be a drink, a date, a coffee. Somebody inviting you out. Let's see. So what is coming in for Scorpio with this Page of Pentacles for this December New Love Tarot reading? What do we need to know? Nine of Swords. Seven of Swords. Yikes. I don't like that. Let's see. Justice. Lovers. Oh my gosh. Devil reverse, which is good. I would want that reversed. Page of one. So you, I don't know, you're going to have a choice between two. I don't know. I wasn't really feeling that. But we do, I do feel a lot of stress, anxiety, and wrongdoing and stuff attached to a past person you were kind of hoping for. And I feel like if they, like I said, if they did come back around, they still had ill intentions. So justice here, you know, maybe there was a lot of things you didn't see. But justice is truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order. So I do feel like here you have a soul contract coming in. We do have that with justice and the lovers, something meant to be. I don't see anything negative around it with the devil reverse, which is really good. Because the devil upright is kind of like the negative aspect of a soul connection. But when it's in reverse, it basically turns to the lovers. And then we have the page of wands, exciting, stable, with the page of pentacles right on it as well. Offer coming in here. This could be someone that works in the justice system uh, in some way, shape, or form as well. But this is my universal law and order card things, things meant to be in a connection. So we're going to see like how you may meet this person, what else we need to know. But we do have Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Sag. All right. For Scorpio, please tell me more about this energy for Scorpio. Tell me more about this energy. For Scorpio, please. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Scorpio? What else do we need to know? Ace of Cups reverse. So this is someone you never had a relationship with. It's going to be new. Five of Pentacles. You definitely did have a connection in the past you were hoping for that didn't work out. And it just, you could have been ghosted by this person. A lot of lack, loneliness, sadness surrounding that. And confusion. Seven of Cups. Queen of Swords. Three of Cups, yeah. You know, you could, Knight of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like you could also be dating this new person if you have not met them already. Because this is my courting, dating, getting to know card. So some of you may be actually dating this person already, and it could be that this past person tries to come back. And you finally put an end to it. It could be that too. Knight of Pentacles reverse. So that turns actually to the fastest knight, which would be the Knight of Swords upright. It's funny we have it over there reversed. So this gives me new energy of courting and dating, getting to know somebody that could take off very quickly. You know, and you may be setting some healthy boundaries, you know, lots of communication, clarity, nothing wrong with that, because you're thinking about all that past energy, and you don't want to get hurt again, right? So we have uh, Libra and Taurus showing up. All right. So for Scorpio, tell me more about the Three of Cups. I feel like that's according to Danny getting to know. What else do we need to know about this for Scorpio? What else do we need to know about this for Scorpio? Let's see. What else do we need to know? Eight of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Eight of Pentacles reversed. King of Wands. This could be a business owner, leader, entrepreneur. Four of Wands reversed. 
six of swords. This could be somebody who is divorced. Um, doesn't mean that's a bad thing because we have the four of wands reversed. I kind of get some, because that upright usually is commitment, marriage, blah, blah, blah. When I get in reverse, sometimes it can indicate maybe divorce. Um, I feel like you walked, like I said, you walked away from this finally other situation, which you're walking into. And now it's your fate, your destiny, divine timing, things that are meant to be. Because you walked away from things that weren't working. King wants is someone very attractive, fiery, and passionate. I'm feeling like maybe this person travels because the four of wands in reverse could be maybe somebody that is not one spot for too long. And I'm not saying they're a player or anything like that. But we do have six of swords next to it, which can indicate traveling. So this could be somebody who does maybe travel a lot. Or there could be maybe a little bit of distance between you. But, I mean, we do have something with fate and destiny here. So what's your fate? to leave that situation behind and embrace this new uh, connection. So we got Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Six of Swords is positive movement forward. All right, we're going to do one more row, Scorpio. See what else you need to know. And then we'll jump into, with clarifiers, and then we'll jump into the work your light oracle and see what else you need to know there but if it does resonate so far please do like comment all the good things be greatly greatly appreciated so tell me more about this new energy for scorpio what else do we need to know what else do we need to know for scorpio nine of wands i keep getting the messages of like struggling to walk away from something but you finally did it. Seven of Pentacles. You know, a lot of stalemating here. Staying stuck. Ten of Swords, but then finally putting things to an end. Which brings in a more balanced energy for you. Hangman. So being in limbo, I feel like you were in limbo for a while. But now no more um, discontent energy for you. This is now knowing what you want and being with somebody who knows what they want. Reciprocation and balance, which is what you would want into a connection associated to this King of Wands energy. I feel like if this person does travel or whatever the case may be, not that they wouldn't settle down, but I think this person may tell you if I found the right one, I would absolutely settle down and not travel anymore. And I feel like if, you know, the hangman is kind of like that pause energy of being still. And if this person, if this turns out that this is the one for you and this is the match that's meant to be for the two of you, this person definitely would stay in one spot and settle down here with you. I feel Scorpio. No discontent energy, not with the Four of Cups reversed, which I do like. Well-rounded and balanced. So we do have Pisces showing up. Let's see what else we need to know. Seven of Wands. Six of Wands. So, I mean, feeling a little blocked and unsure, maybe a little self-protective mode, but we do have success and victory here. Page of Cups, a romantic, sincere gesture. Romantic, sincere gesture. Um, here with the Page of Cups, which is good. Romantic invitation. It's somebody who is not afraid to love. I mean, the King of Cups is a little reserved. But I feel like this person is going to be very mature and reserved and not like lead you along, lead you astray. Two of Pentacles. So there may, may be on the fence about this, but Four of Swords is, you know, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it because it's an emperor. Holy crap. Yeah. That's definitely what I feel, you know, in a soulmate alignment energy too. So this definitely is someone who is meant to be a soulmate in your life. Growth and expansion here with the Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Um, did we have the King? I thought we had the King here. No. But this is the kind of stability and groundedness that you've been kind of wanting. Exciting new opportunity, you know, and this could be just about holding back on the fire and the passion until you kind of feel the uh, connection out more. King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody could be divorced. I mean, you could be, they could be... Um, with the uh, King of Pentacles reversed, High Priestess. I don't think there's going to be any secrets. They're, they're not going to keep anything hidden, very open. 
uh, kind of a communication, a very dedicated, loyal kind of energy too. This is a big level up for you in this connection. Someone who won't be afraid to commit either. I do feel like though, if there's something about this person, if they do travel, um, they would definitely, most definitely settle down and stay put for you. There's no doubt about that. All right. Scorpio. So let's get some work your light cards. Let's see what else you need to know. And also everything else you do need to know is down below in the description box. So you can check that out if you would like to. All right. Work your light here for Scorpio. What else do you need to know? What else do you need to know for Scorpio? Mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So yeah, you do probably have a lot of things from the past that are triggering you that maybe need to be dealt with. And Mother, Grandmother of Jesus, seating in the light, laying foundations, divine plan. This is someone who will lay a foundation down with you. I definitely feel that. All right, Scorpio, what else? The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hit soul tribe. So this is definitely someone that is part of your soul tribe. And it's meant to come together to lay the foundation. Oh, why am I shuffling again? Let's see what's on the bottom. Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So yeah, I do feel like you're releasing the past and now embracing the future. Definitely here. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.